327, that's how many times Hillary Clinton and her aides were unable to recall facts about the private email server setup, including details around its setup and whether Clinton asked permission to use a personal email account at all. All important questions. All right, here with his reaction, Daniel Halper is the Washington, D.C. Bureau Chief of the New York Post. Daniel, you put this number together. Are you stunned by it? Yeah, it's very, very high, obviously, higher than anybody, I think, would guess. The Republican National Committee, they scoured the transcripts of various depositions, FBI notes from four Clinton aides, I mean, including Hillary Clinton, Cheryl Mills, Huma Abbott, and Patrick Kennedy, and they came up with this number, 327 times when they were asked a certain question, and uh, all of a sudden they were hit with amnesia. So <laughs> there's, it's kind of, it's kind of convenient for them not to remember key facts right. in this investigation and I think we're, it's interesting that we're just learning about this now. Key embarrassing facts, Daniel. You know some of these True. people were attorneys and if they told the, you know, something that would harm Hillary Clinton's chances to be President of the United States, that would blow everything up. Yeah, at least half of them are attorneys. It's interesting, if you talk to any attorney, if you talk to any prosecutor, they would tell you, well, of course anybody, uh, the subject of a criminal investigation is going to tell you they can't remember or they didn't or deny anything. What's interesting about this case in particular, I think, is that there was a lot of deference given to their word. So the fact that when Hillary Clinton says she doesn't know that C stands for confidential right. or classified on, on, on these markings on some of these notes, why is she believed? Why is the assumption that she is telling the truth? Why isn't the assumption that she isn't and looking for further facts mm -hmm. to, to perhaps bolster that case? I think lots of subjects in criminal investigations were never given the benefit of the doubt. It's interesting that these politically connected, powerful right. people have been. What about the benefit of having Cheryl Mills sit in on your interview? Why was that allowed? Why was she allowed to storm out and not come back? Well, it's interesting because Cheryl Mills is, was Hillary's lawyer, right? So, so, of course, you're allowed to have your lawyer present. The weird thing is she was also a subject of this criminal investigation. So it's kind of strange and per perhaps unheard of yeah. for that connection to be allowed to, for you both, the lawyer also to be the subject. Uh, and so, so for her to be able to hear multiple, invest, mul multiple interviews and hear sure. what's going on. It's not common practice. Uh, then again, you know, maybe they don't know the answer and maybe they don't recall. Maybe they weren't in on the decisions. But nonetheless, when you look at the number, it's like, whoa, that's some number. We'll never know. That's the problem. We'll never know what she really believes, what she really knows. Unfortunately, investigators didn't see it, it worth pursuing yeah. the facts outside of it. We can only, you know, they, they took their word at face value. Jason Chaffetz isn't stopping. The uh, chairman of Oversight says he's going to start looking into it because of things like that 327 number. Daniel Halper, thanks so much. Thanks, guys. All right. What do you think about that? Email us, friendsfoxnews.com. Are you buying it?